Hello, my name is George Hamilton III, and this vlog is going to be on the GOAT, Lionel Messi's long-awaited rival to MLS. Let's get into it. For the last two months, Messi mania has been running rampant in Major League Soccer, better known as MLS. For those who don't know, Lionel Messi is considered by many to be the greatest soccer player of all time. After his season ended with Paris Saint-Germain in mid-May, Messi had announced that his plan was to come to Inter Miami of MLS. In early June, news broke that Miami would be signing Messi along with his former Barcelona teammates Sergio Busquets and Jordi Alba, with the details of the contract to be announced at a later date. As soon as the news broke, tickets for Inter Miami games at home as well as on the road skyrocketed, with the cheapest ticket for some games being two to three hundred dollars at the bare minimum. On July 15th, MLS and Inter Miami had announced that Messi was officially signed to the club as they introduced him in front of the fans at Drive Pink Stadium. Five days later, he would make his much-anticipated debut against Mexican club Cruz Azul in League's Cup, a competition where all the teams from the MLS and the Mexican League would play in a World Cup-style tournament from July 20th to August 20th. In front of celebrities such as LeBron James, Serena Williams, club president David Beckham, and many more, Messi subbed onto the field in the 54th minute. The game was scoreless until the 94th minute. Then Messi's magical left foot took over. Messi! From there, Messi and Miami would win their remaining group stage matches and all of their knockout matches to make the finals of League's Cup. After a 10-round penalty shootout against Nashville in the finals, Miami were the League's Cup champions, with Messi hoisting the club's first ever title. While Messi can sometimes do extraordinary things on the pitch, Messi is human and he needs his rest, especially at the age of 36. Days before their match against Atlanta United on September 16th, a reporter associated with the club announced that Messi did not travel to Atlanta. The cheapest ticket before the game was $150, but when news broke that Messi wasn't going to play, tickets dropped to $40, and those tickets were to sit 22 rows away from the field. This angered many fans who paid top dollar to see Messi play, although the greed of our society is at fault and not Messi, the league, or the clubs. There's only two weeks remaining left in the regular season, and Inter Miami sit 14th place in the Eastern Conference, the same place they were at before Messi and friends arrived at the club. With Miami only five points away from the ninth and final playoff spot, we'll find out in two weeks whether they can climb up the table and make the playoffs. For Shooting for the Stars, my name is George Hamilton III, and I'm signing off. Peace.